17 years ago, my labs went to normal, my symptoms went away, the blood clots went away, the proteinuria went away, and there was no sign or symptom of lupus. And what's fascinating to me looking back at it myself is I still thought of myself as having lupus for years, even though I had no symptoms and I had negative labs, because the rule said, once you have lupus, you always have lupus. My rheumatologists tell me that once you're diagnosed with RA, you know, you get all your blood work done to normal and you don't have symptoms, there's still organ damage occurring. Where? <laughs> it's, it's this weird, um, I don't even know what to call it. It's, it's almost like a, like, like a ghost story, right? Um, understand that in medical training, and it's been over 20 years since I was in medical school, um, but in medical training, they do tell you that certain diseases are incurable. And when you learn a, a rule, right? Sometimes your brain will try to bend reality to fit within the rule rather than someone being open to adjust the rule to accommodate reality. Okay. So for example, I was told at 16 when I was in kidney failure that I had an incurable disease, right? I would have protein in my urine forever. I would have pain forever. I would continue to get sicker forever. And even when I became a doctor, I was trained that and I believed that. But 17 years ago, my labs went to normal, my symptoms went away, the blood clots went away, the proteinuria went away, and there was no sign or symptom of lupus. And what's fascinating to me looking back at it myself is I still thought of myself as having lupus for years, even though I had no symptoms and I had negative labs, because the rule said, once you have lupus, you always have lupus. So even with no evidence, no symptoms, no medicines, no pain, no clots, normal labs, negative ANA, no DSDNA, normal complement, somehow I still had it. And then finally, after about four years, I started saying I used to have it because it didn't make sense anymore. Um, and then now I have come to understand after 17 years uh, that even if it ever came back, damn, it was a good remission. Um, but I come to understand now the idea of disease reversal, which is a fairly new concept, right? That you can initiate and cause a disease and you can reverse it just like a car. You can drive into a ditch, but with the right amount of help, it might be a little tough to start it, but with the right amount of help, you can reverse out of that ditch, right? So disease reversal is not easy, but it's possible and it's repeatable. And we've helped thousands of people do it. So it doesn't make sense to me that if you had, if your antibodies for disease are gone, what's causing the organ damage, right? Because the way these diseases work is you create an antibody against a part of your body and those antibodies then attack that body part, right? When I had kidney failure, those antibodies were attacking my kidney and that's why there was damage. Right. But when the antibodies were gone, the kidneys healed because there were no more antibodies to cause damage. So it doesn't really make sense to say that your labs are negative and your symptoms are gone and there's like ghost antibodies causing damage. It doesn't make sense. To me, it sounds more like your doctor's trying to make reality fit into the rules she has in her mind rather than broaden her mind to accept new data. And it might be because she hasn't seen that data yet. I mean, thankfully, a lot of folks who come to me now are excited uh, they're, they're, they tell me their rheumatologist is excited that they're seeing me or their rheumatologist is the one who sent me or their rheumatologist is seeing me personally for their own autoimmune disease. Um, so it's been, this last decade has been a lot easier than the one before it, let me just say, <laughs> I'm trying to help people with this. And by the way, I had to go through that. Even though I was already a doctor, when I stopped my medicines, um, I had to talk to my doctor about it. Like, why do I still take medicines? I stopped them a year after my remission where I had no signs or symptoms of disease. And it was a year later. And I said, why am I still taking all this? And he said, this is his, what, exactly what he said. You're treating my anxiety because I'm terrified to take you off of them. You know, patients like you are the ones that, that scare us, you know, that, that, you know, cause I've had so many near death experiences from lupus and I had to comfort him. Listen, I don't want you to be anxious, but I don't want to take all these medicines with all these side effects if I don't need them. But I promise you that if I get any sign of illness, if I get any clots, if I get anything, I'll be back in this chair so you can start the meds again because I want to live. 
And that helped him feel better. And that same doctor fired me a year later because he's like, I don't even know why you come in here anymore. You don't take meds. You have no signs of disease. Come back if you ever need me. Um, and it's a beautiful day. I love when people write to me that they were fired by their rheumatologist. I, I, I celebrate for them because it's the coolest thing ever. 